All right, I am testing all of these dishwasher pods to see which one works better. So over the next week and week or so, I'm going to every day wash a load of dishes. So I've got this hazelnut spread that nobody is eating. My son said to do peanut butter, which would be good. But I think what I'm gonna do is put a nice, generous dose on here. All right, so then I'm gonna see how well it gets all the greasiness off, okay? So, I'm gonna stick that in there like we normally do. Oh wait, I'm sure somebody's gonna say I put my plate in wrong. There, I'll put it there. All right, I'm starting with Cascade. Here's my first pod. I guess, I don't know, how do you put it in there? Okay, maybe I'll read the directions, let's see. Do not unwrap, puncture or pull apart. Place in the main dispenser and close the door. Be sure to reseal the sack. Okay, so I'm closing the dishwasher door. Okay, now look at this. 24 gallons with 11 minutes of hand washing versus four gallons per one dishwasher cycle. Okay, is that true? I'm gonna test and see if that's true or not. Running the tap for 11 minutes while hand washing uses up to 24 gallons of water. Okay, we're gonna test this and see. Okay, we have Cascade Complete is the one. And right here is the Wow, okay, holy moly, that is very sparkly. Okay, gotta say that did a really good job, a really good job. I don't know, that would be a 10 out of 10. That looks really good. The dishes in general, oh my, look at that shine. Wow. <laughs> okay. I guess I gotta say, I'm impressed. Let's see. Yeah, not greasy. Okay, I'm impressed. All right, the next one I am using is the Walmart Great Value Powder. Now, this is how I keep it in my drawer. And then I just put a tablespoon in my dispenser there. All right, we'll see how this one works. Well, maybe there. Okay, the Walmart. Wow, I'm surprised. The dishwasher is very fresh. Okay, and here's plates that had the Nutella. So really, I'd say the Walmart did pretty good. And I don't think I have any rinse aid in there either. Okay, the next one is Cascade Platinum. Right there, I've got some mustard, I got my Nutella. Let's see how this one does. Okay, the Cascade Platinum. Wow, look at that shiny dishwasher. All right. Here's our new plate. Totally clean, squeaky clean. Wow, everything looks all sparkly. Coffee pot looks all sparkly. Not really a few water spots, but not too bad. All right, I would say that one's a pretty good one. All right, the next one I'm doing is Walmart's no pre-rinse required, and so I still pre-rinse, but you can see I got my egg thing there, and I have my cabbage there, which probably isn't a good thing, but, <laughs> and there, that one's not pre-rinsed, so we will check and see. And the Walmart one is not all fancy schmancy, so that's very interesting. My... Egg is gone, my 
cabbage is gone. My Nutella is gone. I would have to say the Walmart did a pretty good job. So here's my greasy, greasy grill thing. Nope, no grease. All right, I would say those did as good as just as well as the expensive ones. Let's keep going and we'll see what's left. Okay, the next one I have is Finish Quantum. That's what it looks like. There's my oily, greasy. There's my oily, greasy. We'll see how clean these get. Okay, the Finish Quantum. It just finished a load. And that looks pretty good. I mean, yeah, let me check the grease. Yep, all the grease is gone. Okay, so that one's pretty good. I'm gonna keep testing. So I was thinking how much I hated the smell of this and I just washed our dishes with laundry soap. Oops. I was like, man, this smells awful. It smells like cheap <laughs> dryer sheets. <laughs> you know? Okay, I hope I didn't just ruin. Wow. <laughs> It didn't get the dishes really clean. I don't know, dear, do you think I need to rewash these dishes? Yes. I mean, they've been rinsed many times. It's not going to really matter, I don't think. Holy cow. Well, I may have just ruined my dishwasher, but the dishes certainly are clean. Okay, well, I don't recommend it, but even though it stinks, great value laundry packs works very well in the dishwasher. <laughs> Okay, this time I'm going to try the Cascade Platinum Plus. But I'm also going to add my teacup. I'm just curious if it's going to get that clean. Now maybe we can get that awful <laughs> laundry soap smell out of my dishwasher. <laughs> okay, did I do it right? Let's see. Did I do it right? Do not unwrap. Place one pack in the dispenser and close the door. Okay, that's what I did. Okay, Cascade Platinum Plus. Now, I have to say, I don't think I've ever seen my dishwasher this clean before. Oh my goodness. I mean, that's wow. Okay, so let's take a look. So, oops, I don't remember which plate I put, but wow. Okay, I have to say, I don't know that I've ever seen my dishes this Oh, here's the test. I don't know if I've ever seen my dishes this clean before. Okay, now, interesting. So there is tea stain from where I drink right there. Uh, well, it got, got way more than the other dishwasher's soaps has, but it didn't get rid of all of the tea stain. So that's not good, but wow. Okay, let's look at this one and see. That one got most of the tea stain. My dishes, I don't think they've ever been this clean before. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize how my dishes weren't really looking the freshest they could look. Oh my word, wow. And I think this one was the most expensive of all of them. But, holy macaroni. I, I seriously have never seen my dishes this clean. Okay, here's the spoon that I put the Nutella on with. Wow. Oh my. Okay, let's look at this. This was my butter dish. <gasps> wow. Okay, there's no grease on that. It's squeaky clean, huh? Okay, we're gonna keep testing. But 
I would say this is definitely a 10 out of 10. Oops, our dish towels fell, fell. Okay, you are the official dishwasher person in our home. Open the dishwasher. Don't get, don't, you might need your sunglasses. Keep going. Ooh, Push all the, the way down. The dishwasher itself is real nice. <laughs> Have you ever seen the dishwasher so clean? It's shining like a mirror. Yeah, look at the dishes. Ooh, wow. What do you think about that? Look how white this one is compared to that one. <laughs> Just kidding. That's not a white dish, so. Wow, they're very clean. Have you ever seen our dishes sparkle like that before? I don't think we have, have we? I don't know. Huh. Wow. So would you give that a 10 out of 10? Yeah, it looks pretty awesome. Give that one a 10 out of 10. Ooh, so we got to be careful with this one. This yes, loving, I know. wonderful one. I love it. <laughs> okay, it says it tackles burnt on stains. So we're going to try it right here with this one and see if it gets tackled. My test plate. Wow, it came out really shiny and clean. But here's the one I'm curious. Did it get? Oh my goodness. Wow. I've actually never tried to clean anything that's baked on in the dishwasher because I just never thought it worked. Oh my, I should have been doing this test all along. Hmm. Well, there you go. No scrubbing. And look at how shiny the dishwasher is. Wow. Okay, so this one, I don't know if you can see, the dishwasher itself isn't that sparkly. See how it's all kind of runny right there? But the test plate is pretty clean. The super greasy pan lid looks pretty good. And I mean, it's not as good as the Cascade Platinum, whatever, but it everything's degreased and looks pretty clean. All right, now we are testing Finish Power. This is the one that's been around the longest, I think. All righty, I don't know what those crazy things are, but there's something. Okay, we got this one now. Let's see. The test plate is nice and shiny. So I would say everything looks really good. I mean, I would say probably as good as the Cascade. So, all right, on to the next one. Okay, Cascade, and there is the test dish. Nice and sparkly. I don't really like the smell of Cascade. Hmm. And the rest of the dishes look pretty clean and sparkly. So I would say both of the powder detergents did really good. The next one is Dining on a Dime Cookbook, our dishwasher detergent. There's my Nutella. So for homemade dishwasher detergent, it's one tablespoon of baking soda one tablespoon of borax all right let's see how it does okay my homemade mix right there now it's not quite as sparkly as everything else but i did not put rinse aid in but you can see i don't remember which one had my nutella on it but they're all really nice and clean and I probably could have used some rinse aid, but really, I have to say, it cleaned. My glasses are scratched, but it cleaned pretty good. Wow. You look at this one. Yep. That one was, hmm. Okay, well, I would say for the price that the homemade did a pretty darn tootin' good job. Yay, Danny on the cookbook. Um, okay, Mike is our official dishwasher man in our house. So how do you think the homemade soap 
did compare to everything else. No, I opened up the dishwasher and I thought, man, this is sparkly looking. And then I thought, oh, I probably shouldn't unload the dishwasher because <laughs> Tara's going to want to get it on video. I've official ended the dishwasher testing now. So, so. 93 hours of study has finally come to a conclusion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you feel that the homemade dishwasher did just as well as the other ones. Well, it looked beautiful. Yep. I mean, everything seemed really clean. I didn't it wasn't put, greasy or anything. I didn't put rinse aid in there, so there was some spotting. But if I put rinse aid in there, it probably would be fine. But I cool. guess we could be done with the testing. Okay. <laughs> Have a kitchen back. Yes. <laughs> so one other thing Mike was noting. I just, <laughs> you're the only woman in America that appreciates it when I don't unload the dishwasher. <laughs> Because normally I get up and unload it, load it and everything. And she's been saying, don't unload the dishwasher. And I'm like, are you seriously telling me not to unload it? <laughs> I'm done with that now. You can go back to unloading. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. I read this and it says it takes 24 gallons of water in 11 minutes to hand wash a load of dishes that would take four gallons of water in a dishwasher. I think this is a bunch of baloney. So I'm going to test it and see. This is Cascade saying this. That sounds absolutely ridiculous to me. Maybe it's true. I don't know, but I'm going to test it. So I've got my one gallon of water that I filled here. Now, I think this is a gallon. So let me test here. And see. All right. So right here, I don't know if you can see, but this is the line right here that is exactly one gallon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand wash in this bucket and see how much water it actually takes to use to hand wash. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash and then pour it into here and measure how many times I fill one of these up, okay? Now, also what I did was I loaded my dishwasher here full of dishes. And I'm gonna unload all of these <laughs> because I don't have room on my sink to do them. So I'm gonna unload these onto my counter and then I'm going to start washing, okay? And what I did was I filled my dishwasher full so I would know that I had a full dishwasher load of dishes. Okay, since I know people don't properly hand wash their dishes by filling the sink up with soap and water, and then washing them and then rinsing them, putting them up. Most people do just run the faucet. So that's how I'm going to test this, okay? All right, so here we go. Now, okay, so they said 11 minutes is 24 gallons. So I got my little timer here and we're gonna go ahead and start. minutes and 30 seconds okay and I'm going to measure my water wow I might be wrong guys look at this this is pretty full okay there's my one gallon I don't know I might be wrong wow okay got one gallon down okay and here we go. Okay, there's line for the second gallon. And I am at uh, four minutes and 20 seconds. Uh, yeah, 10 seconds it looks like. Okay. That is three gallons, and this is gallon number four. And I don't know, 
know, two cups maybe, a gallon and maybe two cups. So here's my timer. It's the second one right here. I went for 11, that would be nine. So I, eight minutes and about 40 seconds. I, let's see, 40, yeah. So about eight minutes and 40 seconds is how long it took me, oops. Eight minutes and 40 seconds is about how long it took me um, to get all an entire load of dishes done. And according to Cascade, I should have used 24 gallons of water. I used, let's say five gallons of water. I used four gallons and about two cups. So if I would have gone the entire 11 minutes, I probably would have used around five gallons of water to hand wash all of that. So this is a flat out lie. I was not wrong. Once again, I get so angry at false advertising like this. And you might say, well, Tara, you didn't have it on full blast. If you're washing dishes, a normal person is not going to have the water on full blast because it splats everywhere. Have you seen this meme? That's because you have water on too high. Don't have your water on too high. But it does take slightly more and just barely slightly more. Two cups more is nothing for water. To hand wash your dishes versus um, running them through the dishwasher. And that's with running the water the entire time. If you properly wash your dishes, then you're going to probably use about one gallon of water, maybe two. So, well, for this entire load, mom didn't, in the video, mom didn't do um, this amount of dishes. So let's say two gallons of water for this amount of dishes. If you okay, so what did I figure out here? So the Cascade Premium and Premium Plus those two were actually the best of all of them and they worked the best. But here's the caveat. It was five to 10 times the price over the homemade and the Walmart. And so if I would have added rinse aid to the Walmart or the homemade, I'm sure it would have been just as clean for 10 times the price. It got my dishes really clean and shiny, but it's not worth 10 times the price. I mean, we're talking 50 cents versus two or three to five cents. That's kind of up to you if you wanna spend the money or not. To me, it's not worth it, but if you want to, you can. Go watch this video next on which dish soap gets your dishes the cleanest. You're going to be shocked at the results. I know I was. Visit us at livingonadime.com and we'll see you guys next time.